Hemk University of Applied Science in Finland. Welcome to University Gotsedelchev and first of all, can you tell me more about yourself? Yes, thank you very much for receiving me here. I am here as an Erasmus uh, teacher exchange and as far as I know, I am the first one from uh, my uh, University of Applied Sciences that are here now. And um, I'm here to um, get to know you and your university, your faci facilities, and I'm also going to make a lecture here. Can you tell me more about your speciality? W what are you going to talk about? So I am uh, specialized in uh, genetic diversity, but I'm not a laboratory worker and I'm not dealing with genes in laboratories, but I'm dealing with plants out on the fields. So I'm learning the students to uh, recognize different kind of morphological and phenotypical um, characteristic on plants. And uh, then I'm dealing more deeply than with heritage plants, which means that they are this old type of, uh, for example, cereals, but also old type of all different kinds of plants that are, have been cultivated and not are cultivated so much anymore. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have a lecture in front of our students at, at this university. What's going to be the topic of the lecture? So I'm going to talk about climate change. And uh, climate change is... Um, changing much more faster up against the, the poles. So in Finland we are already now dealing with the climate change. It's, it's from every year we can um, uh, sense more and more of these changes. And uh, the highly um, breeded crops that we used to uh, grow, they don't function so much anymore if we get a lot of rain or we got longer periods of, uh, for example, um, sunny and very warm weather. So uh, the more the crops are breeded, the more uh, vulnerable are they to the climate. So we need really this old type of plants that can um, are very, um, they, they can stand all these very uh, ultimate climates <laughs> if it's a lot of rain or if it's very little of rain. So we need plants with very deep root systems. Why did you choose this particular topic for our students? Uh, I think that uh, it's good to know because these processes of climate change is happening all over the world. So it's not only about uh, us up in the north, but I'm sure that also in Macedonia the weather will be changing. Uh, according to the, the forecasts, it's not going to change that much as it is changing for us, for example, in Finland. Do you know something about Macedonia and Macedonian agriculture, the nature? Most of the foreigners that are coming here in Macedonia, they're telling us that we look wild, we look like uh, we have a lot of agriculture and a beautiful nature. What do you think about it? Well, I, I also don't know much about Macedonia, so I'm first time here and uh, uh, it was a long trip to come here from Helsinki, it took uh, 14 hours. So um, I had first to fly to Istanbul in Turkey and then to fly back again no, to come here and then of course with bus from Skopje here. Um, I think that uh, I, have, uh, I have just this morning been walking a little bit now where I have been seeing the natural plant cover and uh, it has the same plants that we can see also in Northern Europe. Of course some plants we don't have uh, but they just look different. So, uh, and, and also I could see that you produce different kinds of cereals now, and we perhaps produce something that you don't produce that much, so there are uh, differences, of course, in the cultivation. Now. Do you think that it's possible any kind of cooperation between your university and our university, and what kind of cooperation would that be? Uh, yes, I, I hope that we can find out some kind of cooperation. For example, I have seen that you do a lot of uh, research on pests, uh, so different kinds of insects. And I think that that would be interesting for us because as we are getting warmer climate, we are also getting new kind of pests, no? so new kind of insects that we need to get to know. No? So that could be one, uh, one uh, kind of cooperation. Uh, but I, I think that there are really many different kinds of perspectives how we could cooperate. So it's just to find out then uh, 
how can we do it no? and it may be also a little bit problem um, we can do it within this Erasmus exchange program that will be fine no? and I think that we are going to concentrate on this because to get project money for making something else then we need some common financing source and as Macedonia is not a part of European Union then we cannot use those uh, financial supports to make common projects but uh, I, I think we always can find out some way to cooperate. Thank you for the interview. Thank you very much.